Noah Coca, 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 still doing libi libi. Muye laba laba, mind your pala lava, baby your lover lover. I'm um, too saucy for your froye, too saucy for your froye, too saucy for your froye. Slow motion shaku for me, shaku for me. Slow motion shaku for me, zanku for me. Slow motion. Sh um, Bookbag Brothers, Brimo, The Banj, Two Face, Awilo, amongst others, and finally you got to see two videos from Sister Debbie. Uh, that makes the intro. Um, I'm glad to tell you she's already in the studio, and you are welcome. Thank you so much, Deborah Vanessa. Yes. First question. <laughs> I won't ask you anything personal. First one will be, do you think, mm -hmm. or have you ha had it ever crop crop into your mind like you you are not celebrated well enough? Um, I think you are one of the people or artists in Ghana who has been relevant in like more than 10 years and yet we call artists of the decade and your name is not up there. <laughs> what do you make of that? Um, I never look at the negative side of things. You know, I focus on the way my fans call me when I'm outside, it's the derby, it's the derby, the joy in their faces when I respond and how happy they become when I just, you know, take pictures with them or acknowledge them and things like that. So. That makes me feel celebrated. And um, yeah, and I understand maybe if I'm not celebrated in an official way, I feel like, you know, the type of art or music that I do mm -hmm. is very different and non conventional. Okay. And as Ghanaians, we are not used to seeing or accepting things that we haven't seen before. before. We, we like to compare things like, oh, Hey, the way Beyonce did it, she did a pepe pepe. Wow, mm. yeah, me feel wow. Do you understand? We don't, we don't really um, believe or support originality or creativity. And okay. I, I usually say that that's how we've been brought up and trained. Even in school, they give us handouts, and we have to copy the same thing on the, same on the thing. handouts into our jota mm. or into our notebook. Mm. Mm. We're very used to, you know, copying, not really thinking outside the box, you know, and inventing. You, you, you think it's a problem like with our culture? Um, uh, certain I won't say it's system. our culture because our cult, most of our culture is actually very good. very dynamic. I too. just feel it's the educational system maybe it needs to be revised. Not maybe I think it needs to be revised. There are things that I learned in primary school that things under moral and religious education that don't make sense to me now. Mm. So I feel like there's things that we need to unlearn. Mm. Yeah, mm. yeah. And then, mm. I think you're one person who has like the most amazing music videos ever. Oh, thank you. Yeah, I think thank so. You. But uh, for, for a reason, uh, we don't show you that much love when it gets to like music video awards. And mm. so I know you have a couple of music video yeah. awards. And yeah. you don't get to win stuff like that. Like, it's mm -hmm. still the same old faces, same old people. Yes. Doing yes. the regular stuff. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. uh, it is with you. Oh, you know. They worry you. Like, you put so much effort and creativity yes. into making your videos. Yes. And okay, so not that much. You know, we have the internet and we have YouTube. And that way you are competing or mm. you are you have the chance or the platform to show your stuff globally. You don't always only have to think about Ghana or you don't only have to think about Ghana. You have okay. to think about the world. I don't use the word compete because it's not a competition. There's mm. room and space for everybody. everybody yeah. But then you have this platform where the whole world can see you. So you just have to use your hashtags and things like that. But then again, as I said, because I do things my own way and I do things differently, um, probably people think that, oh, maybe I'm not... I'm not really into, you know, that kind of thing. But it's also nice to win awards because your fans love to see you win awards. So mm. if I make effort and I put a fly up saying, oh, we're supposed to vote for this and that, I think about my fans mm. and then I do that. Mm. But it's not priority for me. Mm. I don't do stuff because I want to get an award. Like in school, I wasn't learning to get an award in school. I was learning for myself to apply in my daily life. Okay, good. And uh, talk about awards. Recently, you, you, were, you, were, you were awarded um, from, I think, CBS Awards, which I was... Um, yes, I yes. Was the we host. met on stage. Yes, and, mm -hmm. uh, and I remember you posted me as the gentleman MC who brought you up the stage. Oh, I did, huh? Uh, I remember. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. <laughs> <laughs> that was... And I think you were celebrated for being the student's most... Um, and I think favorite... Student's favorite Personality, personality, entertainment personality, mm. and that makes sense. That makes sense yeah. to you. And then I picked another award from, I think, Third, Third TV, mm. a music video award for Kakalika Love. Yeah, that's it, yeah. man. That video is yeah. awesome. Thank you. Very, Thank very, you. very awesome. 
So, so yeah. All right, so straight into business. Uh, <laughs> most of the time when we get to have you on interviews, it's, it's, it's more about uh, something we don't want to talk about. <laughs> <laughs> something you're itching to talk about, mm -hmm. but you have brain. You have brain, but mm -hmm. we will still talk about mm -hmm. it. Yeah, but before we talk about it, <laughs> I think we should talk about the, 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 the new stuff you're doing, the yes. African Mermaid EP album yes. you're putting together, okay. and of course, um, yeah. the solo project you also embarking on. Tell mm -hmm, us, mm -hmm. get us into it. Okay, so for the past year, I've been working on my first ever EP. Um, Quite a number of people have been asking me, hey, when are we getting an album? When are we getting an album? And I said to them that, you people, you said I am, my music is no good. Mm, now you're asking mm, for, for an album. album. Okay. <laughs> so I said, okay, let me do an EP. And I named it the African Mermaid EP because um, I call myself the African Mermaid. Mm, I'm obsessed mm. with the ocean and marine life and things uh, like that. I think it's just perfect. <laughs> yeah, especially seeing you in, in, in a bikini. Thank you. Is, is your girlfriend watching? Uh, fortunately, I'm, sure I'm single too, just like you. Mm, so. Are you sure? Oh, very much. I'm definitely mingling. <laughs> Okay, oh, so yes. I have seven tracks on the EP. Okay. And uh, we have features from Strongman. We have mm. features from Enu Baroni, Ohema Dadao. Mm. Um, I'm proud to say there's about four women on my EP. Ma, so I have that's Yakutu. That's what we've been waiting for. Yeah, I have Yakutu. She's a German Ghanaian singer songwriter. Okay. She's on the song Somebody, which we'll talk about. Okay. I have Enu Baroni, as I said, Ohema Dadao. And I have Efia on the EP as well. Mm. And. Um, so aside Strongman, I have Kofi Mole. Oh, I have another girl on the EP, okay. La Pili. She's from Spain. From Spain. And last year, so I flew possibly to possibly um, singing in Spanish? Yes, she sings in Spanish. Raps, raps and sings. Yeah, more of a rapper. If it was a movie, I would ask if there's subtitling, but I don't know how we we should understand. I'll be the feeling good day there. It makes sense sometimes. What's that guy's name? Is it Fino Fino? Yeah. It's rap the jump. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Understand. Understand. The yeah, same so. with um, Sakodes raps jump. But they don't understand. Nigeria. Exactly. But it's all about the vibe, the sense. flow, that's you know, true. that kind of thing. Um, so Lapili is also on. So that's about five girls, yeah, right? Yeah, five girls. And um, the EP is dropping 13th March. It's going okay. to be on all music platforms. So if you use Aftown, um, Boomplay, okay. and Spotify. I know Spotify, we don't really use that in Ghana. Yeah. But Boomplay, Aftown. Spotify, Audio Mac. iTunes. I don't know about Audio Mac, but okay. that's like the new thing now, right? Yeah. No, it's been, it's been there for a while. Out. Okay. Yeah, because okay. the distribution um, thing that I use, I don't know if they go to Audio Mac as well. I don't think so. Okay, I, I think you should check, check it out. Mm -hmm. yeah. So, um, my first ever EP, I have producers like Kuvi on it. This is your first ever EP? First ever compilation of songs. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, I have. For, um, for over, over how many years? Well, Uncle Obama dropped in 2012, okay. and music was then a part-time thing, and I would release just a song mm. a year, mm. yeah. But this time, I've done a, more collaborations. Mm. Um, I've done something with Frida Rhymes, which is not out. It's her song. I have, okay. but currently there's two songs that are out. Um, I featured a upcoming um, rapper musician Califina. Okay. We have a song together called Amount for Boys. Mm -hmm. It's really good. We are going to shoot a video. Okay. And then at the end of 2018, Enam featured me on a song called Talk to Your Boyfriend. Okay. She featured me as well as another lady called Tania. She speaks French, mm, I think German I think as I've well. Seen her yeah, hands. Tania. And we've shot the video, so that's coming out soon. A really cool video for Talk to Your Boyfriend. So I've done quite a number of collaborations with girls in the industry and i mm. hope to do more because it's really fun it's nice when you know girls come together and do creative yeah that's all especially when for. we gang up against the boys yeah. <laughs> especially i was going to ask you about but no, no, boys. What, like that. what's the content no no i'm out for boys is actually talking about how someone's boy is so fine okay and you hope she, yeah, you know she, she doesn't get angry it goes like this um i'm sorry if you get angry with me but I can resist, your boy is fine. That's the chorus, part of the chorus that I sang. Okay. Yeah, so it's about this girl telling the other girl that Charlie chops mommy, can also chop some. Yeah. <laughs> and it's not like she's going to take the boy or something, okay. but it's like, okay. it's, it's okay. funny. Yeah. You know, like, it's fun. Make you pitch. Uh huh, mm. make you pitch small. So that's, that's Califina's song. Okay. And um, yeah, but that's aside my EP. As for my EP, as I said, producers like Kuvi, Jerry Beats, mm. North. King Stan from Denmark and um, yeah, it's it's different vibes on this. And there are videos the to all this, all of the songs. Yeah, all the songs. Have you have you donated money to me? No, no, you, you did do amazing stuff, and you know. Small, small, I have videos to all of them, okay. but so far I've shot three videos. Okay, for three. So three. you've already seen Libi Libi. Yes. That's track one. It with, features um, Konobium. Konobium. Yeah. Yes, and somebody which we're going to probably you know show today. Premiere. Yes, today. Premiere. Yes, premiere today. Airplay. 
Nah. Are we sure? <laughs> so it's more like we get to see it anyway. So it's to enjoy. You guys are still special, okay? Yeah, yeah I know. And um, uh huh. So Libby, Libby, and somebody have videos, mm. and I'll be dropping the EP with my track number six, which is Kanzu. Okay. And that features Lapili from Spain and Kofimoli so from Ghana. So how is how is the Spanish person singing about Kanzu? It's like? dope. Let me tell you something. Kanzu, we know say the like under of the food. Okay, so how is she singing about that? You have a very valid question. Yes. Okay, so the concept with Kanzu and the song is that um, it's inner beauty. Mm. That's more important. Okay. So the beauty way they see, the mm. under way it is. Yes. Oh. And then it also talks about how we should appreciate different shapes and sizes. So I talk mm. about big willy and small willy and soft willy and hard This willy. is too much for us to take. Uh -huh. like, so the under way they be and the soft the big willy and the so mine is small and soft. I don't know about yours. Maybe okay. yours is like the car okay. tire one. Okay. <laughs> okay. This sounds like so something else, but so, that, like. so, that's kind of, so the concept is about inner beauty. Okay. okay so no matter what beauty you, you see, see, the inner one way they be more. Okay. So it's all about your inner beauty, your personality, mm. your character, that kind of thing. So that's what Kanzo is about. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Mm. So look out for that. And, and then the video. somebody. Yeah. So currently I'm pushing somebody. Mm. And um, somebody is a song where a woman is the one courting the man. Okay. The vulnerable man. Telling him that. If you want somebody to love you, I mm. could be your somebody. Could you be my somebody? Are you ready for love? Mm. Are you ready to be drowned in love okay. and things like that? Yeah. So that's what somebody is about. Okay. And it features Yakuto, produced by Kuvi, and the video shot by Ben Zola. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, um, this is what I'll do. Okay. I'll give you the chance. This will be your camera. Okay. Um, you would have to introduce somebody to us so we get to see the video. I just did that. Um, okay. I have to do it again. Yeah. Okay. Do it again. Okay. <laughs> okay. Was this Zerb? It's Sister Derby. Check out my latest video, Somebody is off my upcoming EP, The African Mermaid. It features Yakutu and it was shot in Afinia Tema by Benzola. Check it out.
All right, people, so there you had it. Somebody uh, by Sister Debbie. Yep. And uh, I don't know if you agree with me, but I, I saw two people actually in the video. For once, I thought I couldn't make it them out. I thought it was the same person. And she tells me they don't look alike. I don't know what you think, but you can send in your messages. And the phone lines also has been opened. You can call and ask any question devoid of controversy. <laughs> All right, so uh, on that note, I have a few questions and uh, messages to read, of course, with regards to Sister Debbie. And uh, I don't know, I don't know if it's a good thing or a bad thing. Most of the, 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 the messages I have here are related to, to medical. I mean, right. this one I find very, um, this some way. It says, uh, and you are reading it out. Yes, and it's a long message, and beneath it is, I love Sister Debbie so much. I'm medical inside of Boise. So. <laughs> Okay, that's funny. You can imagine. There's, there's another uh, medical somewhere, and he, he actually likes your videos and everything about you. Thank you. This one Thank says, so please much. ask Sister Debbie if she is still dating MDK. This one, I think, is invalid. Yeah, yeah. For me, I think it's, it's Seriously? invalid. Seriously? Mm, somebody is too bad. I love the video. And Thank please you. stop calling the text lines so I can be able to read your text out. <laughs> and, Okay. I think all is all about medical in here, and people want to hear. Uh, well, for the benefit of my viewers, or okay. you want me to read all the messages? I don't know. I don't know. They are all about medical, and I'm not sure you want me to get into all of this. So let's just. I'm not sure his partner wants us to be talking about him. Definitely. Yeah. yeah. That, that makes sense, right? It does. Like everyone knows who he's dating, and they yes, asking you know. Why would they do that? That's not nice. Big question for me is <laughs> personally. Okay. Pers you can answer like you want to know if i'm dating somebody no no i know okay. I, you said you're single already i'm single because i'm not married but yeah you are you dating skirmishes doing doing them things wrong. what is i just said skirmishes <laughs> i was asking for I a friend said, actually because no, we are okay. planning to apply together hey together yeah, wow, okay. <laughs> hey, <laughs> so to, see always to see who gets no we don't come together oh, like, like yeah we this they both see me mighty. You for you for yeah, People like my DJ, DJ mighty. mighty. Yes, you you do big things. Hey, I want yeah, DJ mighty. Oh, yeah. Wow. Mm. Last time I met you, I was like, um, I want to date you so I can blow. Okay, mm. and I was, what did I say? Did I say to you? <laughs> <laughs> I don't remember, but for the benefit That's of our viewers, say, yeah. let me just ask the big question. What's the big question? That's no big question. For, no, for me, I think that's the biggest question of all time. Like, what happened? Oh, please. No, no, like, what caused the breakup? What caused... If you listen to Kakalika Love, yeah. my hit song that went viral, yeah, yeah, very big you song. will know what happened. So Kakalika Love was the song I put out to mm. tell my fans and anyone that wanted to know what happened. Okay. The story of what happened. So just go and listen to Kakalika La, watch mm. the video, and you will know what happened. But it was certainly not ab about you not knowing how to cook whatsoever. Come on, like seriously? Because, yeah, so, I know you're a good chef. I watch your snaps most of the time, and I exactly. see you cooking. Exactly, so. and we were together for two years and two months. So is it so after two years and two months? You realize you weren't No, but cooking. that's a very dumb thing for people to, to say, think, because yeah. we keep encouraging the patriarch thinking whereby it's only a woman that has Who should to know how to cook. If you were left alone in the world, would you be waiting for a woman to cook? Certainly not. No, but obviously that wasn't the reason. I mean, people were in shock and they understand why. So they come up with all sorts of, you know, excuses and reasons. But mm -hmm. that was far from... It. And it wasn't about infidelity. From whose part? Either part. Or if it was... Listen, who's, listen to if it was who, Love. I've listened to it back to back and I still didn't get the exact thing. Like, it was talking about so many things. I just want to get. It wasn't that talking about so many things. I only I sang a very simple verse, mm. and then the chorus says, "Don't lie to me, don't lie to me." You don't remember hearing so that. So somebody was actually lying to you. You know what? Tell me what. You need to go and read on the internet or update your brain. Good thing is <laughs> I have all the details, but once I have you here, I shouldn't let you go. Then no, you, this I is old, and you know yeah, everyone knows this already. Mm. Okay, I think we have a caller. Oh, uh, okay. Hello, a big man. What be your name and where are the callers from? From a shy man. Okay. Um, what is your contribution question? Okay. And Sister, they're behind. Just to focus on whatever she wants to do. Okay. She doesn't listen to Daniel. I don't talk too much. Okay. I love her and all the best. Okay. Oh, I love you too. Thank you so much. Thank you. <laughs> Okay, so uh, I think I have a few messages here to uh, please tell Sister Debbie I really love her outfit. So, oh, thank you. Yeah, I love it what you're wearing. And Sister Debbie, 
if uh, you will get nominated for BT one day, just <laughs> move on. Me self cry. What opportunity you to see, give yourself? You see, move on. But it's you asking those questions, making people think that you like, haven't moved on. How? Oh, you have moved on. Long ago, if I hadn't moved on, I wouldn't have released Kakalika Lab. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, that's true. Okay, I want you to record a jingle for me. Where can I meet you? I love your voice so much. You I'm should email me. Real my DJ. email is on my Instagram. Instagram. So you just email me and send me the details. I'll just do a voice note and send it. Okay, my party, yeah. that one was for you. And mm -hmm. um, this one reads, Hi, Kweku, this lady, uh, this is Lady Chi. Tell Sister Debbie that I really love her. Okay, Lady Chi, Thank from you, Lady, Lady Chi, Chi to Sister love Debbie. And uh, why is all the love coming from the ladies? Like That's good. It's good to have love from ladies. Okay. You know, from guys it's easy, but from ladies a yes. bit difficult. So okay. if you get love from ladies, that's very good. Okay. Yeah. Mm. So I was, I, I want to get to a few of the messages, but okay. uh, I think most of them are just asking the same thing we don't want to talk about. I know it's on the general. We've read it on the internet. We've, we've heard it so many times. But Charlie, what happened? That thing they be us. What really happened? Come on, it's almost two years. Or and over. 2018. Yeah. We're in 2020. It's going to two years. Yeah. And this will be the if last time anybody would ask about no, it. No, no, no. If they want this to will know, be the last time you would have to explain. If you it or anyone ev wants to know what happened, just listen to Kakali. I have uh, over and over. But you said rightly it wasn't for the cooking reason or infidelity. Or certainly, I think somebody was lying to somebody. Were you lying to medical? I'm not sure you were. I, anyway, I, have I ever lied anywhere? Well, everyone knows Sister Debbie always talks her mind. Yeah, and Sometimes we love you for I'm that too character. Blunt. Mm. You know, I might mm. come across as rude, but I always speak the truth and talk mm. my mind. So I've answered you. And yeah, then, okay. So medical was obviously lying to oh you. Oh my God. Was obviously lying I'm to you. Yeah. I'm not I'm not listening. Oh. Ring one, I didn't listen to you. <laughs> what be your name and where you the call us from? From Kumasi. Oh, okay, this is that is here. Talk to her. Hello. Uh, in Jesus name everything we find with her thank you so much for calling in thank you so much and people if, um, just when you call please turn down the volumes on your TV set so we can hear you clearly uh, okay right Mm -hmm. uh, we're still on the on the relationship stuff. Um, I get I'm getting messages here. I love you. I want to date her. Lots of such messages from okay. here. Are you are you single now? I'm single. And searching or not searching? I'm not searching. I'm okay, just okay. Good. You're not life. don't search. Just wait. <laughs> you are bringing the ap application in numbers. Okay. I think we have another caller. Okay. Uh, hello. What's your name and where are you calling us from? Okay, uh, I'm not sure about this one, but I think we'll get back to the medical subject. Let's no. talk about the EP. Oh, we should just finish once and for all. That's someone's partner. Why should we be talking about someone else's partner? That's true anyway. Yeah. But thing is, mm -hmm. once we want to, once we, we, we've heard everything from the internet and stuff, we have you here. We want to hear from you finally. All your viewers already know the truth. Well, someone was actually asking, so. Oh, they should do Google search. <laughs> no, but they are watching the show, so they should go and listen to Kakalika. Did it affect you in any way? Were you emotionally hit at a point? You know, one thing I always tell my friends is I love how you still carried on and we were still hearing from you. And I wasn't dating Jay-Z. You... <laughs> Obviously, you are not Beyonce. Oh, you are, now you are shading me. Now you are shading me. <laughs> no, 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 not a shade. Like, you just shading for, for, me. No, for... For, 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 for every reason, you know you're not no, Beyonce. I said I wasn't dating. I've yeah. been dating him on the side, but you're acting like it was him I was dating. Oh, hello, hello. Yeah, sister Debbie is here. Don't mind him. Uh, He's not serious. <laughs> What's your name? Where are you calling us from? Oh, okay. I'm um, Aziz Kelly from St. John. Okay, sister Debbie Day here. I'm talk to her. Hello, Aziz. <laughs> Uh, Aziz. Come again, Aziz. Oh, man. Oh, this is terrible. So I, I'll repeat, when you call, turn down the volume on your TV set so we can have a conversation, please. Yeah, it's not Debbie. Mm -hmm. You weren't dating uh, Jay-Z, obviously. We know Jay-Z's wife is Beyonce. Yeah. So, um, um, were, you, were you hit at a point? Were you, were you hit? Like, did you ever feel depressed? Did you ever feel disrespected? Did it affect your music? 
It didn't affect my music. I yeah. actually released a song then and had a hit song. One thing I was so proud of, because we're of still course. hearing from you constantly. Of course, because when you break up with someone, it's not the end of the world, you know? People even have children, are married, they break up, they still move on. It's not the end of the world, mm. do you hear me? So to anyone out there going through a breakup, <laughs> just know that there's better things to come for you, okay. you know? Okay. And um, as I said, there's even single mothers out there, they've been through breakups, they're still going strong and doing whatever. So I actually had a super hit, mm. you know? They say when life gives you what, lemons? Make lemonade, Lemon, yeah. exactly. So you just have to um, look at the positive thing of everything that you go through. Mm. Try and bring something positive out of it, yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, let's yeah. talk about the EP. Again, I feel that sure? will from you. <laughs> <laughs> no, probably you might come back to that subject. No. But the EP, um, do we have a venue yet? Do we have a time for release? Everything set Okay, yet? so um, the date and time for release will be online. That's on the 13th, Friday the 13th of March. Mm. Um, I'm planning to do a listening party. Okay. So, you know, like pre, you know, pre-release. Mm. At, um, hopefully at BBNZ just maybe a day before okay. or so, but um, I'm yet to confirm that okay. it will be out on my social media platforms. Instagram is Sister Deborah, Facebook is Sister Deborah, yeah. So the information will be out there for anyone that's interested. And they should just look out for, you know, the collaborations I've done with the other artists, which is their works. They should just look out for more stuff. They shouldn't be surprised to see me you know, working with a lot of artists, mm. yeah, in the near future. A lot of music videos, more music, and then hopefully with that, other stuff would come as well. Great. Mm -hmm. Let me get on to a very general question. Okay. Do you think we have an industry in Ghana, a music industry for that matter? Um, do you side with the, the, the school of thoughts that believes that we don't have an industry? Do you, do you side with the other school that thinks that we have an industry but the structures are, you know, not well built and stuff? Yeah, I don't really have much much knowledge in that but what i know is that um yeah we don't have like a structure it's not well organized not well put together um, one major problem that we face here as artists is the fact that we don't get paid for our airplay i mean gamro gives an amount like every month right but it's not an accurate amount because we don't have like a system that monitors that monitors and calculates everything properly if you were in Europe, anytime your song is played on radio, you get money for it. So you can imagine that's how come artists outside make it, and we don't, you know. So I don't know. I don't know what's happening. Like we need that system mm. so that anytime your song is played on radio, no matter how small, once it's a registered official radio station, okay. you know, legal, you're supposed to get money for it. But we don't. Okay. So you can imagine all those airplays. You can imagine all the money that we as Ghanaian artists listen. have lost out. So I. From what I've heard, Gamro just gives like a certain amount every month, but it's not accurate. I'm not registered with Gamro. I don't even know where to go mm. and do that. But um, that's one. That's one major problem. Mm -hmm. And also, I think we need more support. We need more support from you know the government. I think maybe years to come. Mm. Now that there's the Creative Arts Council, I feel like you know they're gonna help and okay. support. You know. Like back in Nkrumah's time, he would fly out with a dance troupe, artists, wherever he would land, they would mm. do like a display. Like he really used to promote, you know, arts and culture and music and also used to help, you know, filmmakers with scholarships to go and advance their training in film and stuff. Mm. So it would be nice if we get more of that support. Because right now, we are doing everything on our own. Everything I, from I, I wonder, it hits me every time, like, yeah. how does Sister Debbie get to recoup everything she spent on these solid videos, these yeah. songs? Like, is it, is it really worth it? Is it lucrative um, enough for you? Okay, or so for me... the passion driving you? Of, um, I mean, the passion is driving me, but for me, when people ask me if I make money out of music, I tell them indirectly. Mm. Not yet directly. I need to blow first, mm. like, blow globally. Then I can say I'm making, you know, enough money. At the moment, the money that I make for music is almost just enough to put back into distribution online because okay. you need to pay for that, okay? You need to pay, like, yearly subscription and stuff like that for each of your songs okay. to be online and to be distributed to all the platforms. So usually when that money comes, it goes I use back it for that. Or, uh -huh. But then when I say I make money indirectly, the music and the music videos have helped me gain popularity mm. and, you know, affinity from the youth and stuff like that. So I get, you know, endorsement deals. And I get gigs like, you know, appearances mm. at, mm. you know, campuses and stuff like that. So that's how I'm able to make money and put it back into making music videos and stuff like that. Okay. So for the time being, it's indirect. I'm waiting for the time that I'll blow and it won't be 
Only indirect. Oh, you blew. You <laughs> started these big, like, all we over the place. We need to help me push the EP and DJ Mighty. Yeah, we go play push the songs. We'll push yes. I believe we are having invitations to, to, to oh, of course. Of definitely, course. Definitely, definitely. Mm -hmm. We take it right from yeah, there. Yeah, yeah. How all much right. time do we have? Do we have more time? I think you want to talk about something No, else. no, no. I just want to know. We are wrapping up, right? Um, yes, yeah, okay. we are wrapping okay. up. And, yeah. Okay. Oh, okay, then let's, let's just do it. You want us to get to the relationship conversation? No. Okay, so let's, let's talk about... Relationship with you? Or <laughs> I even thought the one with you, the relationship with you. Yeah. That hits me. All right, I'll get into a few messages, then we'll okay. get to watch somebody music video again. Okay. And okay. then we'll wrap up. Do you guys the have the Libby Libby video? Yes, I think we already played that. Oh, okay. You saw that. With the Apple no? Yeah. No, you yeah. played Bola, and then and you played, played somebody. Libby Libby. You played Libby yeah, as well. Okay, then that's fine. Then we we'll do great. somebody. Okay. Uh, this one reads Please tell Sister Debbie, I really love her outfit. And she's oh, my mentor, and I'm really looking up to her. All the best. This one it was passed me down. How do they call it? How, how do they call it? My friend gave it to me. It was too small for her. Oh, so she okay. gave it to me. Oh, that's yeah. beautiful. Yeah. That's beautiful. I'm Khadija from Techiman. I love you a lot. You are my sister. Love uh, very much. I wish I can see you. Oh, love you too. Thank you. And when are you going to Techiman? Man. When mm. I'm invited, I'll be there. Okay, Shut. so Khadija, I think you should work with your people. Yes. And Oh, sorry. This one reads, um, Hi, I am HMB Mentors from Takrade. Please tell her I want a refix with her on my new hot song, Ejina <laughs> uh, Please mind me, Sumo. I mind you. I mind you. So what's his name? Mentors. He yeah. needs to send me an email. My okay. If you, if you message me on Facebook, it comes to my email. If I listen to the song and it's good, I'll feature on it for you. Okay. Yeah. Uh, please say hi to my beautiful sister Debbie. I love her so much. Love I love her. her. I want to date her. Hey, that was a girl. I said love you too. <laughs> anyway, love you too. That's why he actually didn't send his name. Because like I. <laughs> Okay, I have always admired Sister Debbie. That was a really beautiful video. Thank She's you. a celebrity I want to meet someday. This is from Kinsley Inside Boko. Wow. I think they should let her be. She's done Thank with you. MDK now and enjoying her life. Exactly. Yeah, Enjoy. obviously, obviously. Um, and another one. Hi, Debbie. I actually love everything about you. Forget MDK and everything about him. I love you. Please, I forgot to know. <laughs> Media houses want to stress my life. No. Oh, man. Oh. Hi, I'm Shidonia. Hey, Shidonia. Shidonia. From Macedonia. Name? No, this one from Somania. Hey! <laughs> Shidonia from Somania. I want wow. to tell Sister Debbie that I love her so much. Love and her too. music as well. She should keep up uh, with a good work. Thank uh, you. And lots Thank of you. messages. Well, we have, you have viewers from all like, over. Somania, Boko. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All uh, over. Kumasi. Ghana, everywhere. Oh, that's and running fantastic. And other 31 countries across oh, the world. Oh, wow. Yeah. Mm. yeah. Maybe someone will see me and sign me. Yeah. Onto a label. Oh, yeah, that become a star. It becomes a big question. Are you willing to get onto it to be signed onto a label, or you still want okay, to? Okay, so like with this EP, I um, I was um, shown interest. Well, before the EP, mm. one French label sort of person showed interest, mm. but then I decided, and then they were like, okay, if you're doing an EP, maybe we will distribute and publish the EP for you in the whole of Europe. You know, okay. they will take over. But they were kind of delaying and you know sometimes you wait and wait and wait mm. and then you sign with a label and then mm. they are either not pushing it how you want it mm. or they are restricting you mm. Charlie is you just have I to think I open. think I should enjoy the freedom that I have because mm -hmm. most people that have been signed to labels are not all but most are unhappy mm. there are things that they want to do it the label is restricting them okay or you know the label doesn't have time for them maybe focusing on another artist mm. there's a lot of restrictions you don't have the freedom so i feel like sometimes just have faith and mm. keep working hard and pushing using the internet how you i always promote myself mm. i talk about that please if i don't promote myself who promotes Ooh, me so ooh, every ooh. day i make sure i tweet my link mm. almost every day i post a picture on instagram talking about my music video link because mm. if i don't do it Nobody i don't have anyone going to do it because it's you that know what you want and mm. you are more passionate about it. it's your own work mm. so to other artists out there like upcoming and stuff just use the internet instead of using it to chat 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 mm. about i don't know what those group chats and things sharing jokes every mm. day use it to promote yourself your own self yeah people come up to me and say oh i want to be a star help me be a star and i'm like you have the internet you can play guitar like there's some people that are very talented like they can really mm. sing and stuff like that I always tell them the smartphone that you have, video yourself, post it on YouTube, like just open a YouTube channel, use all the hashtags. You don't mm. know who will discover you okay. or you don't know who will see it. Mm. 
So just use the internet that you have and the smartphone that you have to promote yourself and exhibit your talents, your mm. creativity. Mm. Mm. Yeah. You might just end up being a sister Debbie someday. Hmm? You might just end up being a sister Debbie someday. Oh, okay. And probably okay. hooking okay. up with one medical sometime. Ah, dear. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Levy, yes. it's been amazing having you here. Um, Thank you. Although we couldn't, you are very naughty. And we couldn't, are naughty. Get into, naughty we couldn't get into the whole... You know, we, just we don't have to. Have to yes. yeah, yeah. Now it's all about somebody... So Africa. We have to be swift and focus on... <laughs> on Africa. Yeah, taking the music out of Africa and definitely, bringing the world to Africa in a swift manner. Mm, definitely. <laughs> so... Um, on that note, uh, we wound, wound up the conversation, and uh, we want to thank you so much for coming through. Thank you and too of course, for having um, me and playing my video. We got you every stuff. time. We'll be there, of course, for the listening. Yeah, and I'll everything. send an invitation. Definitely. Mm -hmm. okay. So, people, you get to see somebody music video um, again, and of course, um, we would all want to have to wait for the thirteenth on the thirteenth of March, yeah, March Friday. actually. For yeah, the, all the music the EP album coming mm -hmm. out, the African Mermaid. So and prove mm -hmm. Kweku wrong. I don't look like Yaku, so even though she's very beautiful, uh, we don't look alike. Not every half caste person looks alike. Exactly like alike. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Great. So let's check out somebody. Mm -hmm. No, before we check out that video, mm -hmm. um, Mr. Debbie, mm -hmm. your uh, you want to send some messages, your child, especially to the one who who um, down through you. Who passed the dress down? <laughs> Shout out to Cedar. Her name yeah. is Cedar, but you know okay. Cedar. Dramatic. <laughs> Oh my dreams. Very dramatic. And you're you're probably um how people can connect with you, get your music um across uh, yes. the Okay, so um my music is on YouTube where the music videos are on Aftown, Boomplay, Spotify if you have a Spotify account and Apple Music. And you can follow me on social media. Instagram is at Sister Deborah. Deborah has an H at the end. Mm -hmm. And I usually give a lot of updates there. On the link to my music videos and stuff like that mm. and i'm also on facebook when you message me on facebook it comes to my email so i see it someone is blowing me a kiss from the background <laughs> <laughs> For you. So, yes. uh, so there's another one here and they want a freestyle I thought we were done. Okay? Yeah, we were done. But for okay. just a minute, someone wants a freestyle. I don't know which of the songs. No, do Kakalika for us so we can hear the reason. Uh, hey. Kakalika, oh, which one? You want to do somebody? No. Which one? You nice. Like Alika, you um, want to do. What's your, your name is Kweku Delicious, right? Yeah. Okay. Kweku Delicious in the studio, making yes. me feel booty delicious. Yes. Yes. Checking me out. Yes. Thank God this place is spacious. So he can <laughs> jump on me, even though I know that's what he wants. Clap for you. Clap for you. Clap for you. I hope you love the freestyle anyway. Thank you so much one more time for coming. But I'll give you a line from my new song. Okay. The beauty. The beauty, the beauty you they see be the under, the under, the under it they be. My, like I, <laughs> this thing of him means so many things, so, so many things, so many things, so many things. Thanks for and people, if you didn't know, we're actually live on Facebook as well. Uh, oh, we're live on Facebook. Yeah, live on Facebook. Okay. So um, uh, with the search handle Swift Africa, you can get to watch the recap of this particular interview, or just watch it live till we are off your screens. Um, Naya will be joining me briefly. We'll be getting into the countdown, and of course, that part where we get to. Say Celebrate an African hero who has done immensely well in African music too. So stay with us, enjoy the video as we take a quick swift turn. We'll be right back. <laughs> 